Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. We have completed 35 weeks of our keto journey, and today is our eight-month check-in. Yep. <laughs> we'll get right to the meat of things for you. Um, when we started, Bill was at 382.6. Eight months later, he is at 337.2. He is up about two and a half pounds from last week. Yeah, and I'm a little disappointed with that, but uh, I've stuck with my carb manager. I even had some great days where I was only at four carbs for the day. Uh, hadn't gone over on my calories or anything either. Um, the other thing was uh, I've been doing the 16-8 windows. I did not do a day of fasting this particular week, but uh, I think it's just a body fluctu you know, fluctuation. So yeah. not too concerned. I haven't gone off track. I haven't goofed up and, you know, so... Yeah. So I think we'll just ride the tide. Ride know. the tide. I did remember to do BMIs this time. Um, BMI is uh, 39. He's up slightly from our seven-month checkup, which was at 38.7. Yeah, obviously so, two pounds. Yeah, whatever. but up a few pounds, so that's okay. His total weight loss year-to-date from our start um, is 45.4. From December 1st. From December 1st, yeah. 2018. Gotcha. Absolutely. Cool. So... Um, when we started, for me, I was at 180.2. This morning, I weighed in at 132.6, so I'm at an overall loss of 47.6 pounds. I'm down just, what, four ounces from last week. Um, there was a oopsie. I cheated midweek, and I weighed myself, um, so the scale doesn't reflect. I weighed in at 133 last week. Um, but midweek, I was just curious, and so I weighed in, and I'm the same I am today. So 132.6, so at least I stayed consistent. So that's why your picture will show 132.6 right, on the bottom. I, I, I didn't get off quick enough, so sorry. Our scale, our scales uh, measure last week, the previous weigh-in. Right. I, I tend to not just get on it because I just want to see what the next week brings, but... Right, and I cheated. I, I got it in midweek, so it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I was just Most curious. scales don't even do that, you know. Right. So, you know, it is what it is. So, where is your BMI? Uh, my BMI is twenty two point one, which is exactly the same as it was at our seven month checkup. Okay. Well, you're pretty much right at your real close to your goal weight. Yeah, anyway, so I think so too. So whatever it's, that goal um, weight is. <laughs> It's an ongoing joke. Bill's a numbers man, so yeah. he has his number where he thinks I should be. No, I don't. Not where he thinks I should be, That's but not true. where I've been in the past and comfortable. So, you know, I'm okay. I think about five pounds would be the max that I would probably go Yeah, so down. it's hard to get that last five. <laughs> so our, our updates here are going to be just, you know, minimal here and there for you. Now, I got no excuse. I need to get my butt back in gear. I'll get an e-bike. Yes, I do. I do want an e-bike bad. I just got to figure out how to pay for it. Absolutely. Because I don't want to charge it. No. I could charge it. I could have one tomorrow. But, I'm, yeah, at this point in my life, I'm trying to just, if I can't afford it, I'm not buying it. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'll have to just sell some toys or something. I don't know. Work my butt off a little more. That's all. He's got lots of toys. Yeah. But, I, don't want of, but I got rid of a lot of toys. He did. He's gotten rid of a lot of toys. Yeah. And by toys, we mean guitars. Yeah, I sold a lot of guitars to build this basement that we're sitting in now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's, a, it's for us. Oh, Trade in and sold guitars get you that little bug. Yeah. Yep. I drove it yesterday. It was super fun. A little convertible. A little red convertible v, VW bug. Yep. Say bye-bye, guitars. <laughs> And then, hello, VW. I always get the better end of the deals. You do. Always. But that's the way that it should be. We get the basement, so. This is true. Yeah. Better than brick and concrete. Very true. So what else is up? Um, Anything else on the sheet? No. We, we have covered everything. everything. We got to the meat and, meat and potatoes. Yeah, I've been trying to Not get that potatoes. stuff out right away so that people could get yeah. their information because sometimes they don't want to hear us babble. And that's okay. I understand it. It's Sometimes okay, you're busy. Yes. What are we babbling about today? <laughs> uh, I don't have anything What's the to next babble. recipe? What's the next review or Bread. Recipe? Bread. Bread. The soul bread thing. The soul right? bread. Yes. Okay. How close are we? I think I'm off on Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday. That would be awesome. Midweek. Oh, yeah. Throw up a video. I've been very happy with my Stacy Pitas, but... Um, and it's okay if it doesn't like turn out. Bread. Let's just try it. Yeah. 
Because somebody might say, oh, here's what you did wrong. Because <laughs> they'll certainly tell you. <laughs> yes, this is true. That's okay. Yeah, so let's try that. Perfect. Tuesday. Let's try let's shoot for the goal Tuesday to try and do some bread. I'm gonna commit to Tuesday. Oh, committing to Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do a video. We'll let you know how we'll remember to taste it. Our very first video I forgot to taste the pizza and I still get comments on why didn't you taste the pizza? The crust likes to burn. Yeah. I, I was very nervous. Right. <laughs> it was it was our very first video. Um, it's done oh, the very well. Video? The pizza video, our fathead yeah, pizza video. I think we're at like sixty six thousand views on that at this point. That's crazy. But I didn't think anybody watched it. I we, when we did that video, I kind of thought we were doing it so that we could go back to it to reference the recipe, <laughs> so that when we made it the next time. But now we're making it pretty regular. Uh, I'd say at least once every week and a half. Absolutely. Maybe some weeks more and some weeks less. Just yeah. Depends on how busy we are. Absolutely. But so uh, it's it works out well though. Um, mm -hmm. Still our favorite. Yeah, yeah, definitely pizza night and taco night. And taco taco night, night and pizza night are my favorites, and mm -hmm. I love the little shells that you make. It's just, that's just cheese, right? Yeah. Or is it got anything it else? It is in Mexican it? cheese. Chihuahua. Um, not the Chihuahua no, cheese. Not. For, not you for could the, use Chihuahua you cheese. You can. For the taco shells, we do the one and a half cups of Mexican um, blend cheese in two eggs. Beat it up. Oh, so there's egg in it. Okay. Yeah. That will make four of the Stacy taco shells. They're and, pretty good size. Um, They're bigger than that. Yeah, pretty, pretty good size. And then you bake it in the oven at 350 for about 18 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. And it makes a great taco shell. Or two um, hours if you forget them in the oven. The other day, Stacy went to work and my daughter Lauren said, Dad, it stinks in the kitchen. I wasn't even home. And I'm like, well, what's going on? And she goes, the oven's on. I said, look inside. And she looked inside. She goes, there's some burnt stuff in there. I said, well, turn the oven off. Take it out. Yeah. Stacy had her last batch of flatbreads in there and forgot. Yeah, I was in between jobs. So I was trying to make Rushed. my breads and... Yeah. Sorry. That's Oops. Right. Oopsie. Just stunk for a day. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, I'm human. Yeah, you're we human. We make mistakes. I love oh, you. You do? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Of course I do. He does. <sighs> so I think that's it. That's all we got. Yeah. Uh, we haven't even had the opportunity to catch up on other channels like we normally do. You usually see us out there commenting and doing a lot of stuff on other channels. And that's when we sit down at night and try and work on that. And our nights have been... Body art. Yeah, last night Airbrush we did... tattoos. Last night we did a library. Yeah. End of summer reading party, was it? Yes. Yeah, we were Made out. lots of teenagers happy. Oh, yeah. Lots of... Because some of them had like 10 tattoos. Yeah. No, I think that the, the one girl, I think she ended up with like 15 tattoos. Yeah. In a two-hour period. Yeah. So it was fun. But that's kind of been consuming. We're slowing down here with that. So we'll be able to get back to watching our videos at night. Bill's been watching some of them um, and commenting for us. And, yeah. And, you know, I watch in between where I can, so... And uh, everybody cross your fingers for Stacy. She's trying to get in full-time at Costco. Yep. So she did an interview this last, what was it, was two days ago? Two days ago, I think so. Yeah. yeah. It'll take a while, probably about two weeks before you know more. Two weeks before the final interview, and then they'll make their decision. Yeah, so it might still be two, three weeks away from hearing anything on yeah. that. But That would be wonderful. Yeah. So I could... If she could go full-time, then she could leave the other part-time and life would get a little easier, wouldn't it? Just it would. forty hour a week versus fifty five, sixty to yeah. sixty, yeah. yeah. And then I'd actually see her because she leaves uh -huh. early in the morning. Like today, you'll leave at eight, yep. and uh, you'll get home ten tonight. No, I, it's an early night today. Oh, early. I get oh, off at eight thirty. Saturday, yeah. <laughs> so it's only a twelve and a half hour day, right? So I'll see you tonight. You will for a few minutes before you fall asleep on the couch. So what happens is she comes home, she gets her laptop out, she sits down, and then about 15 minutes later, I look over and she's... As soon as I sit still, I'm out. She puts a blanket over her legs and I know we're done. We're done. But we're <laughs> going to go on vacation yeah, soon, we're gonna go to and I'm going to recharge, and I'm going to not get up so early in this the morning. Is gonna, this is going to be a vacation of relaxation instead yes. of running, like trying to fit a million things in. So we're going to enjoy the resort at SeaWorld is where we're staying. Yes. And then we're going to just have a blast. We ended up having to cancel our November cruise. Very sad. But uh, we've just run into huge 
expenses in the month of July. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, we, we probably spent 20% of our income in July on miscellaneous, unexpected things. Plus, so, they had an itinerary change um, that oh, we didn't they changed, necessarily love. Yeah. So we took advantage of being able to get a full refund. Yeah, they, um, propulsion issues or something. Yeah. So they were changing up our islands and our... Three different islands. So. Yeah. So we were like, well, there's our out if we need to leave. And and we were making decisions. And it's not the easiest decision. I haven't even yeah. told the kids yet. So that's going to be rough. We'll, we'll still make it. We'll, maybe we'll make it for next year. Yeah. Maybe we'll make it a keto cruise. And tell everybody, come on this boat with us. <laughs> and we'll go raid the buffet and eat all our bacon. Eat all the bacon. <laughs> That's one nice thing that you can have as much bacon as you want. That's true. Because you don't have to cook it. I don't like the way they cook bacon on the ship, so no. it's usually way too hard and crispy for me. I would like it crispier, so for me it's not a problem. I have to dig in the bottom a little bit for the stuff that didn't get it's burnt out. For me. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for checking in with us on our eight-month journey here our eight month mark and uh, it looks like stacy will be doing something on tuesday so we might have something out for wednesday yes and that sounds fun so yep yep <laughs> thanks for watching we certainly appreciate all the support and i hope you have a fantastic day bye bye you didn't give me the thumbs up okay all right have a great day